What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber and if you're new here, I'm glad you found us. Today we are going to chat about one of my favorite topics and that is Darktable. Specifically what it is, how you can use it for your photos, and whether or not it's a viable alternative to replace Adobe Lightroom and some of the other paid photo editing software that's out there today. Okay, so if you're here, you're obviously wondering what is Darktable? Darktable is free open source software that you can use to edit photos. It can edit raw photos, which actually makes it a pretty viable alternative to replace Adobe Lightroom. And actually, if you stick through to the end of the video, I will tell you why I believe it is even more powerful than Adobe Lightroom and why you might even want to consider switching, even if you are pretty happy where you are. Um, but it's free open source software that you can use to edit your photos. Not only can you use Darktable as a photo editor, you can also use it to organize and rate your photos with a star system or a color rating system, just like you do in Lightroom, to help you figure out which ones you want to keep and which ones to trash. Darktable gives you tons of options to edit your photos. It uses two modules, one to import, export, and do your major actions to mass amounts of photos. That's called Lighttable. The second module is called Darkroom. That's the one where you actually get into the meat and potatoes of editing your photos. So you use these two modules kind of in conjunction with each other. You use Lighttable to import your photos, get them organized, give them star ratings if you want to, and decide which ones to keep and delete. Then you can click over into the Darktable section and edit your photos the way that you want to. The thing I really like about Darktable is that it's very powerful. There are so many things that you can do in Darktable that you couldn't do in Lightroom. Lightroom is only gonna let you move your sliders so far so that you don't break your photos and so that you don't get frustrated and try to quit. Darktable is developed by some super smart people who know more about photo editing than I will ever pretend to know. And they don't really care if you break your photos. They want you to have unlimited options to be able to edit them however you want. You may click a slider one day and it goes just a smidge too far and your entire photo turns black or green or purple and you're not sure how to get it back or even what you clicked on. That can be a little bit intimidating for a beginner. Don't worry though, if you're a beginner and you're not sure how to get started with Darktable and you don't wanna break anything, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube that can help you out. I even have some on my channel that walk you through the basics of importing and exporting your photos. And I also have some where I just walk through how I edit photos myself and you can follow along with me and kind of learn as you go. Another great thing I love about Darktable is that you don't have to worry about watermarks or any kind of stuff on your photo when you try to export it. I ran into some of that when I was looking into video editing software. You could edit the videos all you wanted to, but then when you went to export it, if you were using the free version, you couldn't export it without having a big watermark stamped on the end of your video. You don't have to worry about any of that with Darktable. Your stuff is just free. Another cool thing is that they always do updates around Christmas because there's a whole team of people that are invested to making sure it works and that it's on the cutting edge of photography technology. The new Filmic module that's been developed and tweaked in the last few releases is significant. It goes beyond just the use of base curves to edit your photos like normal software. There are tons of modules to choose from in Darktable to edit your photos like split toning, color corrections, cropping, rotating, balancing your photos. You can do probably everything that you needed to do with your photos and probably a lot more. I've been using this software for quite a while now and I still find new things in here all the time when I'm in here editing my photos. If you're like me and you're tired of paying subscription fees to Lightroom or you just want to give some new software a try, come on over and try Darktable. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate seeing you guys here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. <laughs>